When it comes to style or fashion, French women just have that certain je ne sais quoi. There's an effortlessness, an ease, a quiet sophistication that we all want to emulate. In this video, I want to share 10 classic French wardrobe staples that you will all want to have in your closet. This is a good one. Hi ladies, it's Erin and welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk about some wardrobe essentials that are specifically French inspired. There's something about French women, specifically in Paris, where the style is just so beautiful, it's so sophisticated, so chic, but also very understated. It's very different, I would say, to classic American style and I do think it's different than the rest of Europe. So I really want to get in there and talk about what is it that makes French style so special? Why is it that it's one of the most coveted styles? So we'll get in there, we'll talk about it, but also highlight those real hero pieces that again, I think all of you are going to want to have in your closet. Before I dive into the list, wanted to say huge thank you to Cezanne. Cezanne is a new brand partner for me that I am so excited about. I really have been calling in and trying to partner with more European brands, listening to you all. So hopefully this will be great news for those of you who are in Europe or UK. When Cezanne reached out and I looked at their pieces, I immediately fell in love. And then when I read more about their mission and what their values are, I knew it was a perfect partner for me. They really do have an eye on sustainability and being eco-friendly. They are a B Corp, which means they have verified high standards for performance, accountability, and transparency. So they list on their site, you know, where they're making their clothes. They talk about the fabrics and how many of them, what percentage of them are eco-friendly. Another value that I really appreciated is the fact that they are donating proceeds to charity and specifically children's education and equal opportunities for children, as well as supporting breast cancer research. So anyway, I really love their values. I really love the pieces, the designs, the fabrics the look, the feel. You all know I am in love with French culture anyway. I talked at length about my recent trip to Paris here on the channel, which by the way, if you missed that video, we will put a link to it right up here. That was a trip of a lifetime that I had manifested. It was a dream come true. So that's a very inspiring video. Number one is the striped shirt, also called the Breton or the, and I hope I don't butcher this in French, Marinière. <laughs> That's a hard one. It's like, near. Yeah. Anyway, the striped shirt for the sake of this video. It is a French classic. And there's so much you can do with a striped shirt. I wanted to show you the striped shirt with some really great classic jeans, a waist belt, some shoes. So this striped shirt is actually the one I'm wearing is from Cezanne. It is a more of an oversized fit. You can see right here in the body, there's a lot of room here, which I really enjoy. And there's room even in the sleeve. So in theory, if you even wanted to layer under this, you easily could, but it's just a great basic, a great classic piece. You know, we've talked about before on this channel, the vertical stripes and that not being as slimming or as minimizing if you have a large bust. Don't discount the striped shirt for that reason. You can always wear a third layer over it. So you really just have the stripe down the middle and then the blazer will cover part of it up. I think it's a great look and it's a really versatile piece. It's also a very accessible print. You know, if you are really more into neutrals and very muted palettes and maybe you don't really love prints, but you just wanna dabble a little bit in a print. It's like polka dot stripes, can't go wrong. Those are the fail safe prints for most of us. So just a great classic. I wanted to show you the striped shirt with a classic pair of blue jeans. These are a high rise pair and a wide leg. They're also roomy and I like this pair. We'll talk more about it in a minute, but they just have, again, this effortlessness about them that I think is so French and I like that. The belt also from Cezanne and this yummy brown tone with a little gold accent detail and some really chic clogs. These clogs are a pretty low heel and they're also very comfortable. I finished off the look with a bold red lip. As you can see, I still have it on, which I feel like is just tray, tray French. And you know, not a lot of makeup. Hair isn't crazy overdone. Their hair is usually a little bit tousled. Like if they have an updo, it's not so planned and methodical. It's more like haphazard. Again, it's just, it has that ease about it. And that goes for nails too. You don't see a lot of like crazy nails in Paris. The next 
wardrobe essential that's french inspired but also it's on my list of wardrobe basics <laughs> is the white button down shirt and i wanted to show you in this video one that's a little bit more oversized because i feel like an oversized shirt although we may be a little bit intimidated by it it can have a lot more versatility so you can you know leave it out you can belt it tuck it layer under you can also wear it as a cover-up. Way back when, I did a whole video about white button-down shirts and how to wear them. If you're interested in some different ways to wear white button-downs, you can watch that video. So what I did, I, I recently saw this video on TikTok and it was one of those tuck your shirt videos. And I'm like, like literally how many ways are there that you can tuck your shirt? Like <laughs> if you look on TikTok, you'll discover a new one, I promise you. It's insane, like every day I see a new way to tuck your shirt, like they all work, right? <laughs> but I thought I would give it a try, so I folded the shirt under and then I tucked it in with the fold and it is quite nice. It does create kind of a neater look. I've shown you here on the channel like the hair tie hack with the shirt, uh, but this one was really lovely and simple to do. I have the white button down on with the same pair of wide leg jeans and some brown suede booties, same brown belt. This is really a classic combo no matter where you are, whether it's the US or France. Jeans buttoned down in cute booties or shoes, really can't go wrong with that as a style uniform in general. French wardrobe essential is the blazer. And I specifically picked this one, which is navy, double-breasted, gold buttons, because that really said Parisian or French chic to me. So this blazer also from Cezanne is more of an oversized long line blazer. And I really love that too, because you really can wear it like a coat. It almost looks like it could be like a pea coat. So sometimes when you wear a longer coat and you're petite, like I am, that can be challenging it can you know tend to cut you off but all you need to do in that case is to maybe highlight the waist in some way like i am here with the waist belt tuck in your shirt and then also leave the jacket open so if you're leaving the jacket open you really still will create a long lean line even if you're more on the petite side so this blazer is a classic again no matter where you live but i feel like it is also very french and very sophisticated, very chic, and it will last for years and years to come. And that's part of why this list is so important too, because I don't want you all to go out and buy, you know, loads of new clothes every season. Like even though my business is shopping, literally shopping online, I've really pared back the amount that I'm ordering and I send a lot back because I just don't want the volume anymore. I really do want kind of more just high quality, luxurious special pieces that I will have for years to come. And so that's sort of the way that I've been thinking about it and the way I've been shopping. And so this blazer is a great example of that. It's something that you will wear for years and years to come. And the fabric has this like subtle ribbing in it. It's a really high quality fabric. Here again, I paired the blazer with the Breton shirt, the same wide leg jeans, the same brown suede booties, and the same belt. I love that all these pieces on the list kind of all work together and almost like a mini capsule. By the way, if you want some more capsule wardrobe ideas, we did just release a spring capsule wardrobe and we'll put a link to that blog post below in the description box. The next essential that is French inspired is the trench coat. The trench coat, to me, there's like nothing that says Europe or like any European capital city than the trench, but most especially in Paris and France. So this is a trench coat I've had for a while and it's not available anymore, but really you can't go wrong with a trench coat purchase as long as you are in love with the fit and it really feels like something special to you. So whether that's some elevated detail on the trench coat or you wanna go like classic Burberry trench or you know Nordstrom has London Fog trenches, there are Sam Edelman trenches, there are all kinds of trench coats at different price points that will look beautiful and sophisticated and luxurious and classic. So it will be one of those things that you can wear for years and years and years. Like I just mentioned, I've had this trench for a couple of years. I have another trench coat that I've had for like five 
five years, so I just own those two trench coats and I rotate between the two. So this is an area too where you may want to spend a little bit more money because you know it's something you're going to wear for years to come. Under the trench, the same wide leg jeans, the same brown suede booties, and the same striped top. I love this like tan color with the striped shirt and I love the navy with striped shirt too. By the way, you can easily do black as well with a striped shirt. The striped top is really much more versatile than you might think. Okay, number five is a classic pair of jeans. And I wanna go back to the jeans that I already showed you, the ones with the really high rise. These are actually above the belly button, so it's more like an 11 inch rise. That's something you should know about yourself, by the way, just what is your rise or what rise are you most comfortable with? So I've talked about before, you know, what's low, what's medium, what's high. I also created a course called Style Made Simple where I talk about that information. If you're interested, we'll put a link below in the description box. But essentially, you wanna know what rise works best for you and your body shape and your comfort and your lifestyle. For example, a new mom probably won't want a low rise jean because you're bending over all the time, picking up binkies and bottles and all kinds of things. So that's just really helpful information to have, especially when you're ordering a pair of jeans. So I love this silhouette of jean. To me, it is like classic French jean silhouette in that classic blue jean color. There's another pair that I have that's more of a straight leg that is also high rise and a darker blue wash. And that's another pair that I really love and think is so classic. Classic. These are called the Ruth Jeans by Les Gens, and I've showed you guys those before. But essentially, if you have a couple of classic pairs of jeans, you're gonna be set no matter what you know, style inspiration you're going for, whether it's French or whether it's just, I wanna look pulled together for my lunch today. Those are so basic and so versatile and so wearable. You just, you wanna make sure that you get those two pieces right, like two great pairs of jeans that are also classic flattering, comfortable. Next up is a structured neutral bag. Do you guys remember my look expensive video? I talked about having a structured bag as something that looks very expensive. It also looks very chic. It also looks very French. They don't wear big logos in France. They don't have really flashy anything. It's a lot of neutrals, a lot of, again, timeless pieces. So when you're choosing your handbag, if you wanna have maximum versatility or you know, channel your inner French woman, I would go with something with some structure like this Celine bag. It's called the belt bag that I've had for many, many years. I have another bag by YSL that's smaller, more of a crossbody. And then here's another one. This one's black. It's kind of a similar size to the Celine belt bag. This is by Tory Burch. And you can see there's no logos. You know, there's no, you don't know what brand it is. And that's kind of, I think, the essence of the French woman. And if you're a French woman, please feel free to weigh in here. I know you will anyway, <laughs> but I'd love to hear your thoughts about that. But I would say as a general rule, we're much more logo happy over here in the US versus over in Europe. By the way, have you all heard of this trend that's happening? I think it's called like stealth wealth. So I think we're coming away from logos anyway and going into sort of un unmarked, you know, no logo clothing. And I saw an article, or somebody posted a, a thing about it on Instagram, and the first thing that came to mind was the Dr. Seuss book, The Sneetches. It's like, you know, first we don't wear logos, then we all start wearing logos, and then it's not cool to wear logos again. <laughs> Anyway, but I think it's interesting from a trend perspective to know like, okay, that's probably where we're heading is stealth wealth. <laughs> so channel that or channel your inner French woman and maybe go for something a little more neutral, versatile, uh, without a lot of um, hardware, without a lot of logos. Okay, the next three items are all shoes. They're classic shoes that I think, again, no matter where you are, would be really beneficial to own, but they are especially French inspired. So the first is a pair of white sneakers, which you guys remember in my Paris video, I talked about how, you know, it used to be very uncool to wear white sneakers in France. And now it is actually what you see most of. So the white sneaker is very in, it's a normal thing that you would see women wearing in France or in Paris. So here's an example of a really lovely, 
versatile pair of white leather sneakers by P448. I think that again, if you wanna channel your inner Parisian, I would go with something that is more on the basic side versus like Golden Goose or other sneakers that have more bells and whistles. Cezanne also has some really cool pairs of white sneakers and we'll link a couple options below in the description box. So yeah, just a really nice, good, high quality white sneaker. Leather could be easier in terms of keeping clean, but then, you know, other fabrics and other materials might be more breathable. So it just depends on what you want and what works best for you. Another pair of shoes that's very classic, very classic French is the Ballet Flat. This is a pair I bought a few years ago. It's both black and brown by Fendi with a pointed toe. It is a very special shoe. I've had it for years. So, you know, when you do consider buying some of these more basic pieces, remember I've talked about the 80-20 rule where you spend 80% of your like wardrobe budget on your basics and 20% on the trends. These are all great examples of pieces that you can spend a little bit more money on because they are pieces that will stand the test of time. Also think about, I don't talk about this enough, but cost per wear. So if it's something you're literally like a handbag, if you're gonna carry it three days a week for five years, when you divide that up, it's actually pretty affordable. And also you can feel better about sustainability, not having to throw things away and buy a bunch of stuff and then dump it the next season. Like I don't do any of that anymore. I have no interest in doing that anymore. Talked about that recently but with all the jewelry I've thrown away. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I just, it just feels like icky to me now. So anyway, <laughs> very long story short, you really wanna spend a little bit more money on these essentials. So ballet flat, also in the trend video, do you guys remember I talked about the ballet flat really coming back in style? So it's funny because here on YouTube, people love to use negative titles because it really feeds the algorithm. Um, so it's like, don't wear these or these styles are so out of fashion or you need to ditch these from your closet, things like that. Those are the titles that people click on. So I remember like ballet flats being on everyone's list and here they are. Again, they're back. There's a new little twist with a strap across the top, but you can't go wrong with this classic, classic shoe, okay? The last shoe I wanted to highlight is a pair of classic black pumps. This pair in particular is a little bit of a twist with the white strap and the Dior on the side, J'adore Dior. This pair is a little bit different because it is a slingback and it has the Dior lettering or branding on the side, but it's still a very classic pair of pumps. It's still beautiful. It just has that little extra detail. So really just any fabulous black heel, and this might be something you already have in your closet. I'm sure most of you do. It's definitely one of those wardrobe basics regardless, but I do think it also feels very French. Next up is the scarf. So when I studied in Paris when I was in college, that was the first thing that stood out to me were the scarves. Scarves were everywhere. I had worn them before, but only because it was like 50 below <laughs> in Watertown, New York, where I'm from. That's an exaggeration, but it did get to 50 below a couple times. So I was wearing scarves just to stay warm, not as a fashion accessory. So I remember being in Paris and just looking around and thinking, wow, it's, they're so elegant and so chic. So the scarf really is kind of a symbol of French style. And I got this one from Cezanne that's very small. It's a very small scarf with a tiny floral print. And I love this print because it's a small scale print. It's a little more muted, but adds a pop of color. I feel like it's very neutral wearable. So there are a few different things you can do with your little scarf. Because I know sometimes the smaller ones can be more confusing, but I wanted to show you a few options. So the first thing that you can do is you can just tie it around your neck and knot it. That's a really easy, simple way to do it. It's also very elegant, by the way. The second way is something, again, I saw on TikTok, like what is going on? <laughs> I'm on TikTok a lot these days. No, I don't know. I keep getting these like scarf videos. You know how it just knows what you want, which is really creepy. But yeah, I get all these scarf videos. So I saw this one where a woman put the pearl necklace and the scarf together and then tied them as like a choker around her neck. So I wanted to show you that as an option. Another option is to tie your small scarf around your handbag. That's a really simple way to add a little pop to your look. It feels, you know, like it has ease to it, but also just gives it a little bit more interest. So those are just three quick ideas for your scarf, but you could also go with a longer scarf and then you have tons of options. The sky's the limit with the scarf. Like there is 
like literally endless possibilities. <laughs> I saw one the other day with somebody creating a rose out of their scarf. I was like, okay then. So with the scarf, again, it's the same white button down I showed you before, same jeans, belt, and blazer. As you can see, it's like the same pieces over and over and over again. So this truly is like a mini capsule wardrobe. And that's the beauty of these staple pieces. They really do all weave effortlessly together. You don't have to worry about what to wear with what. By the way, we will put links to everything we're featuring in this video below in the description box as we always do, but make sure that you first look in your own closet, shop your own closet. If you do wanna buy something that's higher quality, but you don't really feel like you have the budget for it, remember you've got consignment shops, consignment shops online, vintage shops. You've got all kinds of options, sales, you know, you can get alerts for sales. So don't automatically shut the door just because of the price. Okay, and I've got one bonus one for you and that is sunglasses. This is a pair from Cezanne, which for me is pretty small. I usually go for more of a dramatic, oversized, you know, glamorous sunglasses. But I really like this pair so much. I feel like, again, it's quieter, it's more understated, it's classic, it's it's just really cool. And I think it's a pair that I'll wear again and again and again. I'm really excited about and I love the neutral color. I love the way the color looks with my hair, my skin tone, and the shape of it too. It's just a really great classic shape. I feel like the Wayfair is so French too. Okay, so let's recap on on our 10 classic French wardrobe essentials. First was the striped shirt, second, the white button down, third, the blazer, fourth, the trench, five, classic jeans, six, your structured neutral handbag, seven, white sneakers, eight, ballet flats, nine, a pair of classic black pumps, and 10, a scarf, one bonus, a pair of classic sunglasses. And you really could, for the most part, you could put all of these pieces together and create a look you could do the white button down under the striped shirt with the blazer over it and the jeans and the structured bag and a pair of the shoes. I don't think you could wear all pairs of shoes at the same time and some sunglasses, but again, they all kind of weave and mix and work together so effortlessly. Huge thank you again to Cezanne for sponsoring this video. I really was like trying to manifest working with more European brands and when I saw what they were doing and their values, I was just so excited. So I hope you guys are as excited about the brand as I am. Please do let me know what you think. By the way, if, if you want to learn more about manifestation, I've done a video about that. The other day, I mean, I kid you not, like even these little things I manifest. So I was about to get a car wash and my car gets so dirty here in Colorado. And whenever I go through the car wash, like the back of the car never gets clean. It drives me nuts. I'm like, ah, I get out of the car wash and the back of my car is all dirty. So I was like going up to the car wash and I'm thinking to myself, I'm, I, I really want them to get the back super well this time. They're going to get the back super well this time. And I was just like setting that intention. And I was going, you know, into, you know, go into neutral and all of a sudden like my car wouldn't go. And that's never happened to me before. So the guy's like trying to help me. We're figuring it out. Well, apparently there's this weird hold button in the car. So while I'm stuck there, the guy in the back is hosing down the back of the car. So I can see that in the rear view mirror. And I'm like, Holy crap, I manifested this like like that. That was that was awesome. <laughs> I mean you want you want to hope hope for bigger manifestations than that, but that's just an example. When you watch the Paris video, you'll see what I mean. That was a big, big manifestation. But it works for little things too. So I do feel like in some small way I, I manifested this partnership. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching, for being here, for all of your support. If you haven't already, I hope you will subscribe to the channel, maybe share my channel over on your Facebook page. I would really appreciate that. Thank you all so much. I will see you next time. Love y'all. Bye-bye.